so hello guys so this is a, a quick video today this is a, how to use and how to set up a, a MIDI controller for to control your RZR transceiver so basically I have a two SDR transceiver the Hermes Lite on the OBPCB RS HF IQ a transceiver on uh, according with both transceiver i'm using quisk to control and to use my uh, sdr transceiver so initially i uh, scratched my head uh, in order to uh, to um, to figure out how i'm going to control my uh, my sdr transceiver and in fact i have two choices uh, the main choices is, is to put in a box like that this is initially what i did i put everything in a box here on uh, with a front panel or with a encoder and so on on uh, to control my transceiver but that was uh, it was not my uh, my preference and i prefer to use another system in order to control the the sdr transceiver one choice you can uh, use is to control your SDR transceiver on Quisk mostly with a MIDI controller. So there is a many uh, different devices and brand for MIDI controller. So basically I use the basic one. This is from Hercules. So this is, I think it's a French company. I think it's a French company. It's quite cheap. I, it's a second hand uh, one. I bought about uh, 30 euro if I can remember. On this MIDI controller can really control your SDR transceiver. On, in fact, you can uh, control many more, many more, many more uh, devices. So just uh, to show you as I can with the video, all the labeling I perform on my uh, MIDI controller. So here you can see I can control the VFO, I can control the, the, the mode, the band, I can switch from the band, I can uh, control the PTT, uh, and so on and so on. And also with this VFO, I can control my rotator. So now I'm going to show you how to map or uh, how to bind the UMIDI controller to QUISC. So Quisk, the main, the main uh, benefit of Quisk is that it's full of uh, shortcuts. So in fact, what we are going to do, this is to use the shortcut with the MIDI controller. After, for additional control, like the VFO and so on, mostly you are going to bind or to map your mouse, uh, your mouse feature. So this is, in fact, in two parts bind the shortcut or unbind the mouse shortcut so what you can do now i hope with the screen you can uh, set up a thing so i put all the description in my uh, in my blog in my qrz.com so first you need of course to plug your midi controller basically with a, a raspberry pi this is what i'm using or linux it's all the driver for me most of the midi controller are already uh, embedded so you don't need basically to install a, a midi controller windows is another story i'm sorry i never use the, my midi controller with windows but i guess with windows you need to install uh, some uh, <clears throat> some driver so first what you need to do this is to uh, to identify your your MIDI controller, so there is a um, a command on the terminal you can type. So this is what I did. I prepare for you. So here I control. So here you can see it's identified on the Cleon 16 DG control start light. So this is my MIDI controller. According with that so it's identified on all i don't need any driver for my midi controller so now i'm ready to identify all the k pad the different k pad here you see uh and to map them with a tool it's a linux tool uh, name the name is xdo tool so the xdo tool it's uh, 
a very easy and very straightforward tool from Linux in order to map all the pad, the different jog and so on, the, the potentiometer and so on, with a, a little script I'm going to show you and it's all described in my qrz.com page how to do that. So first we identify the MIDI controller. So you can see it's a DG Starlight MIDI one and so on and so on. So now I'm going to type another command. It's a damp. You're going to damp all the pad from your MIDI controller in order to identify it because now you need to identify in order to perform the, the mapping with xdo tool. So now I type this command up. You see you have a list of different cursor. What I need to do now is to go to my console here and I type bit by bit you need for example to identify with Excel or so on. So I show you I type and you see you can see all the different value for all the pad. So you need to of course to identify all the the, the figure uh, on the screen. So for example it was the, the PTT pad so it's not it's a channel six on the pad is not the pad number one. Here you have the velocity and this is all the parameter you need to enter with your xdo tool in the script. So I'm going now to show you the script. It's of course all described in uh, my qrz.com page. So here you can see all the different uh, mapping with xdo tool to all the different pad on here what you have this is all the shortcut from uh quisk all the shortcut from quisk you know control plus and so on so you need to you can hear for example here all the the note and so on I'm sorry, it's very difficult for me to to uh, to handle my camera and also at the same time to point out all the figures. So you see not one and so on and so on and so on. So this is all the mapping I perform with uh, the XDo tool according with all the information I have here from the, the screen on the dump from the screen from the from Linux to uh, up to the to the MIDI controller, so it's very useful. So of course this is my script. Of course this is my preference and my choice. But I will say it's pretty much unlimited. You can after according with that trigger some 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 script, trigger some uh, to open some software, and I can even uh, with uh, my MIDI controller, for example. Uh, make a call in CW, CQ on CW, I can open Chrome, CQR log, GTDX, and so on. I, you can also, if you want, open, open a software. So, after, of course, after what I did, I have a soft, I, I have a script just to open Quisk. Just open Quisk here. Yeah, you can see up, all is open. So this is Quisk, it's open. Of course, I, I switch off the, the sound. Okay, I'm going to put in a large screen for you. And for example, okay, for example, I have a, a key here to change the mode. It's going to show you, change the mode. Uh, I can put in FM, you see, I can go back on, on uh, for example, on the USB, as I told you, I can also call uh, for CQ. I'm going to put in a dummy load first, not to disturb the guys in the traffic. Is it? Okay, you can see it call. You can see the output power is 100 watts. So this is my little amplifier. So. 
here. So it's quite useful, as you notice. This is uh, basically what I'm doing. Of course, here I can control the sound. Okay, put back the sound. You have all the you, the, the sound feature. I have here the sound if I'm using my uh, my headset. And so, oh, sorry, you can switch off the sound. Is here, of course. So, of course, it's according your preference on your choice. All the mapping is what I need. What I I use the most, mostly, but after, guys, if you want to, to map other, or to bind other feature with uh, the MIDI controller, this is up to you. My MIDI controller is not the, the most uh, advanced one. You have some MIDI controllers that are quite bigger, with more pad and more feature. Last time I was thinking to buy, a, uh, in fact, a, a bigger one, but to be honest, this is only what I need on uh, what I uh, my preference. So, yeah, it's, it's very useful. So I can have it's also the PTT. You can see here, okay, the PTT and so on. Basically, all I map all the shortcut from Quisk and from the mouse in order to control Quisk. So. I can control, of, co of course, here with this touch screen, but it's not useful. <laughs> Simply like that. On uh, with the MIDI controller, it's more, I will say, it's more funky, but definitely it's useful. Definitely it's useful because it, in front of me, I have all, uh, I have a dashboard in order to control everything. Open the software. If I want to open secure log, you can see. The secure log can be open if I want to open, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, a web browser. I can open from uh, the MIDI controller and so on. So I hope it's useful for you. Basically, uh, go to my qz.com page. I describe everything on it. It's uh, I, I hope it's useful. Um, I am I am on the way to, to set up my blog, but it's not finalized yet. And later on, I will put more detail on my blog in order for, for example, for this uh, uh, feature, in order to, to explain in with more detail or to use a MIDI controller or, or to control your SDR transceiver. So I'm, you can see both of them. And of course, with uh, Quisk, since Quisk can you can have different profile with Quisk, I can alternatively, of course, whatever the SDR transceiver I'm using, I use exactly the same shortcut because I, I, this is the same software Quisk, which is controlling the SDR transceiver. So here, this is a jog to control my rotator. So I map, in fact, also same with a little script behind XDo tool to call in fact a script in order with uh, for example rs232 uh, command in order to control your your simply like that your your um, your uh, rotator for your antenna okay so 73 have a nice weekend have a good day stay home and uh, hopefully uh, you will have uh, also some uh, you will be successful to integrate uh, a midi controller with your quisk on your sdr ms light or rs rs hf iq obpcb sdr transceiver 73 this is foxtrot 5 november papa victor on qrt bye bye